649, welcome back. It's time to highlight the final charity for this month's charity challenge. Now, one of these three will win $1,000 from our partner, Asheville Mulchard. Last week, we told you about the Mary Benson House in Asheville. That's where women with substance use disorders learn to have safe, healthy pregnancies. Two weeks ago, we told you about FIRST. It's a nonprofit organization that advocates putting children with disabilities and their families first. Now to our final charity this month, Conquer Cancer. The nonprofit has found a unique way to help children with cancer smile. It is so simple. I mean, anyone can sew a pillowcase. Sometimes it's the simple things in life that bring us the most joy. I love owls, and I think children do too. For the past year, Pam Smitherman has made 15 pillowcases every month, only to give them away. I'm always thinking about the children that are going to be receiving the pillowcases, what would make them smile, what would make them happy, how they're going to react when they see the pillowcases, the joy that they're going to experience. Joy can be hard to find for seven year old Brooklyn. We've got a bunch of pillowcases for you to look through today. There's little things that can brighten their day as they're here having to go through this. And this is one of those things. Ooh, kitty cat. This animal lover could use a reason to smile. She was off treatment and then her tumor actually started growing, so we've had to go back on treatment. I like that one. Brooklyn has battled an inoperable brain tumor since she was four years old. I see these parents with these children and um, sometimes the outcomes are not good and they have to go through this with them. And, and watch this long process and it just it's very um, and a very emotional thing for me sometimes. Okay, I still go with the kitty cat. Every month at Mission Hospital, the nonprofit Conquer Cancer gives these homemade pillowcases to children battling cancer and other serious illnesses. Considering everything that they go through and all the treatments and the time that they spend here, I think it's great that there's something that they can look forward to. When fighting a complicated disease, it's sometimes a simple gift that can leave an impression. For a parent to be able to see your child smile when it might be the only smile that they have uh, seen that week. Thank you. That must be uh, an awesome thing. Till next month. <laughs> and the voting is now open to our viewers. You have until Wednesday to pick which charity you think deserves the prize of $1,000 from Asheville Mulchard. Go to the WLOS Facebook page to vote. And be sure to tune in Monday to see the winner accept the prize live in studio. And if you want to see the complete stories from those other two, those are, of course, at our website right. under Charity Challenge.